Hi Thinkers, welcome to the microprocessors course on thinkxacademy.com. In this course, we have already seen in the section 4, we are actually studying the data movement instructions. We have covered the move instruction and in the last tutorial, which was 4.4, we discussed the load effective address. And now in this tutorial, we are going to start with a different type of instruction which is known as the string data transfer instructions. So we are going to take a look at how these types of instruction are different from the traditional data movement instructions. So the topic is string data transfer instructions. Now first I'm going to show you how it is different from the traditional data movement instruction. Now let's consider a sample instruction which we have already studied a lot of times in this tutorial which is ax comma di now in this type of instruction we can actually transfer one byte of data or two byte of data uh, if we are discussing a byte right so we can actually transfer a byte using this type of instruction we can transfer a word using uh, these instructions then we can do the quad word and the double word. So the limitation of these types of instruction which we have studied in the previous tutorials is that they can only deal with a single data. Right. So if I have strings of data, these uh, will not be able to help us out. So for that we have the string data transfer instruction. So diagrammatically if I want to show you what a string represent a string can represent a sequence of bytes, words, double words or quad words. So let's suppose this is actually a string of bytes where each and every block is representing one single byte. Right. So uh, a sequence of such types of blocks will form a string. One important, very important thing here is uh, before starting with the string data transfer instruction, we will have to revise the concept of DI and SI registers. We have already studied about these registers in the very uh, first uh, section of this playlist. DI and SI registers are, are also known as the destination index or the source index register. So DI stands for the destination index and SI stands for the source index. These types of registers they basically deal with the string operations. So destination index will represent the destination of a string. Uh, so thus uh, you can say that di will represent the last position of the string. And then we have the source index which represents the source of the string. Right. So uh, the name itself says that it will uh, give you the source index of the string. So uh, let's say we want to perform a string operation. We want to transfer strings of bytes and uh, we want to load it in some register or we, we are just trying to deal with the string. We are going to use the source index register, which will uh, initially it is going to point to the uh, first, which is the source of the uh, instruction. It will point to that inside of the memory. And then we will have to make sure that we update it uh, accordingly to point it to the next item or the next block inside of this memory. And we will keep doing this until and unless we uh, the whole string has been covered. Now let's study the types of string data transfer instructions that we are going to cover. There are various types of string data transfer instructions, for example, loads, STOS, moves, ins and out, right? So we have these types of instructions which are, which deal with the string and how we can know that is that at the end of this, every word we have S here, which represents that they are uh, string data transfer instructions. All right. So in this tutorial, we are going to start with the first, with the very first instruction, which is the loads instruction. And we will see how it actually uses a string of data. So what does the loads instruction does? 
loads instruction will load the accumulator register so now we know that it is actually going to store the string inside of the accumulator register we already know that accumulator register can be al when we are considering a single byte ax for a word eax for a double word and rax for a quad word so this type of instruction will load the accumulator with the data which is stored at the segment at the, uh, segment which is the data segment right so data is stored at the data segment offset address we will have to specify the offset address to actually know that the string starts from here inside of the data segment right and how can we know that we can know that because it is indexed by the si register which is the source index register so this instruction will load this accumulator register with the data stored at the data segment offset address and it is only address here so and it is indexed by the si register this statement will become clear if we will discuss some examples here so here uh, I have some different variant of the loads instruction which is loads b instruction loads w instruction loads d instruction and then finally we have loads q instruction so these are all loads instruction they are different because you can see at end we have b w d and q b represents byte w represents word d represents double word and q represents quad word so let's see uh, let's write a sample instruction for uh, that will correspond to these uh, loads uh, variant instruction so let's start with the loads b instruction i'm going to write here since it is going to deal with byte we know that we will have to use the al register and we are going to store the data stored at the data segment address and it is indexed by the si register so this is the actual format of writing this so here we are actually saying that load the accumulator register and l means it is a, going to deal with the byte and data segment is accessed using the si which is the source index right so now it will fetch the data stored at the si uh, which will be here and it is going to store it in the al register now we will have to update the value of si in order to point to the next data or the next byte in order to do so we are just going to write si is equal to si plus 1 and one here represents one byte right so i'm going to write here it represents one byte so we are actually appending one to point to the uh, to point to the next byte right if we will write two it is going to uh, go to the it is going to consider a skip of two bytes and that will be the case of word so let's write in case of word we have ax register and this will remain same but here instead of 1 we will write si equals to right so this should be a semicolon si equals to si plus 2 then we have double word for double word we have eax and for quad word we have rax and here also we are going to write the same thing access the ds register the data segment which is indexed by the source index register and finally we will have to make sure to update the si so that we can capture strings of data in case of double word we will write si equals to si plus 3 and here we will write si plus 4 now since inside a memory we can actually increment this value and we can also decrement the value by 1 so i will write plus minus here here also i will write plus minus plus minus and plus minus so the value of si can be incremented or decremented by 1 2 3 or 4 
in these respective cases. So that's all for this tutorial. In the next tutorial, we will start with the STOS instruction and uh, make sure to subscribe our channel to get notified uh, whenever we will uh, launch or publish any of these videos on our YouTube channel and also make sure to download the Android application to get notified for each and every tutorial. So thanks for watching.